Hello there. It's Sandy Alnock. Happy Sunday. I'm going to be Bible journaling in in my Bible using watercolors today because I've been in a watercolor workshop this week and I can't stop painting. So you're going to get a little watercolor. It's a very common verse that I've chosen, but God gave me some insight that I will share with you a little bit later in this video. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly father is perfect. Now, set the perfect part aside. <laughs> I'm never going to be perfect. And that verse, one day God will reveal to me. But nonetheless, I'm going to be talking about other portions of the verse. But let me talk a little bit about the art first. I'm going to be painting happy clouds, or at least happier clouds than I saw this week. I went to walk my dogs, and we went to a park that's about 40 minutes from us. It's a really big park. They love it. It's got lots of big open fields. But it was sunny at my house. And when we got there, it was pouring buckets. There was this big black cloud right over the park. And it opened up and we got soaked, all of us. And the dogs don't care because they're swimming in the river anyway. I was not as thrilled with it because I had left my umbrella in the car because the weather forecast said, oh, it's only going to rain for a couple minutes, just a little sprinkle. And no, that was not a little sprinkle. It was kind of a big storm and it was very dark and everything. So yeah, I was thinking about rain. And this passage, of course, has rain in it and and that's what drew me to it. And I'll, I'll mention a little bit more about how I came to choose that. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the painting first. I wanted to paint happier clouds than I saw at the park because that was a little too much for me. So I started by painting them in very watered down paint. And then I started adding a few sections of dark color because I want to show you the difference between painting tone on tone with like blue drops on a blue sky versus having white drops that you draw with a white pen. You can do it with either one to make it work beautifully. I'm going to use both in this and let you decide which one you like better for your piece or if you want to do both. So I'm using a little bit thicker watercolor, a little less water, a little more pigment in order to get a richer color because the white pen will only show up if there's enough color down on the paper. If you're using a really pale color, your white's going to just disappear. I added a little bit of green at the bottom so I'd have some land down here to be rained upon and did it while it was wet so I get a soft edge between where the green and the blue meet. And then I wanted to iron it so I could flatten it out and start doing some of the detail work. And this is just a iron on cotton for like 20 seconds with a piece of paper above and below. Paper is never going to be perfectly flat but this will get it flat enough that you can continue to work on it. And I'm just going to paint the drops with thinned out blue color, the same color as before, but thinned out. And then if they get too dark, you can dab them off with a baby wipe and lighten them up. Now, while I paint these drops, I thought I'd explain a little about how I chose this verse because I get asked that a number of times on my videos. And sometimes it's because I'm doing a study on something through my church, through an online study, through a book that I'm reading, Sometimes it's a sermon that I've heard on the radio or, you know, something I've heard in a song that came to my mind. In this particular case, it was very practical. I was soaking wet after the trip to the dog park, driving home in the car, and I was cold. And I wanted to be home and dry. And what ran through my brain was that God sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. And I didn't know why God brought that to my mind because I was not feeling persecuted I was feeling a little stupid because I had left my umbrella in the car instead of taking it with, with me and the dogs so that I could stay a little drier. But I was not feeling persecuted, so why did he want me to, to think about this verse? So I went to look it up. And when God sends me a snippet of something, looking it up right then and there is usually him speaking to me. So I, I read the whole section and the part that leapt out at me was, if you greet only your own people, what are you doing 
more than others because the tax collectors and the pagans do that. So we are called by God to love beyond ourselves, beyond our inner circle, beyond our friends and our family and our church and the people who agree with us on things, right? That is, that is what God wants us to do. And so, okay, we're in a very divided time right now. So I am going to do this page and it's going to be all about, you know, loving, loving people on, in all perspectives and that sort of thing. So I'm happily painting my rain. I hadn't gotten any deep heart touch at this point in the process as of yet, just that, you know, God wanted me to do this. So I did. And my human idea was to paint a little river down here and then put people on either side because this is talking about, you know, people on our side, people on the, the side of the world where we have things in common with them, our family and our friends and that sort of thing. And then there's the other side, the people that we might not instinctively love and we have to make an effort in that area. So I started painting little people on the left and I had blue paint left over. So I started just painting in little blobby people. Uh, and I was going to paint some on one side of the river and one some on the other side of the river. So one side, you know, and, and I wasn't really thinking this is the good side, that's the bad side or anything. But right here was where I decided to rinse my brush and change colors because, you know, the other, quote unquote other, would be a different color, right? You know, just to indicate that. And this was when God started really speaking to me in my heart because he showed me visually I had chosen red and it was a random choice it wasn't a conscious thing but I had chosen red which in America is a political party one political party is red one political party uses blue and God showed me in those brush strokes right there that I was putting all the blue on one side all the red on the other as if we were enemies we're not enemies and we're not even divided into equal parts within the church. There are Democrats and Republicans in the church. So he had me start to drop in some red and some blue on the opposite sides so that I could see the mix of humanity that is there. And it was, it was like this little moment of waking up while I was painting, it was not something God had said to me beforehand, but as soon as I saw myself dividing people and making some one color and some another color was when what God was telling me came alive. Because one of the things that has happened is I, I'm avoid, an avoider of conflict in many ways. And if there's somebody I know I have a real big disagreement with, I tend to shy away from them. I you know, I won't comment on their cat video because I'm worried it'll get political because everything seems to get political now. And I'm afraid of that. I found myself not wanting to engage with people who I disagree with on things. And, you know, we may have exchanged some tough words with each other. Um, and, and I'm just afraid to go there. And God was just waking me up to that as I was working on this page, as I was doing the artwork. So when you're creating, don't, don't just turn your mind off to God while you're painting because he could be speaking to you through the art. It's not just the whatever the concept you came up with in your prayer time beforehand. It's while you're doing it, he could be continuing that conversation as he was with me here. And he's, he's calling me to be in deeper relationship with people and being willing to disagree on things and disagree with them, them with me. And I don't know if anybody else is going to get the same lesson. So I might be a one man band, one, one woman band trying to march this out in my life and getting back into relationship with people that I have walked away from because of that fear but the words that I put on this page was a prayer uh, for God to bless us all and that may we also bless each other and learn how to do that in a real deep and honest way, not just, well, God told us we're supposed to love each other, but to really do it in the hard times, in the times when we really disagree with, with each other, like right now, can we continue in relationship? 
because that's the witness that God wants us to give to the world. That's the witness that's going to call people to Christ and to get them to realize God offers a different way. All right, I will see you guys again next week. Take care, go vote, and I'll see you soon.